name is Bardia, I'm the land development student in this team, and I'm from Iran. We are Team Enfold, and we will present our proposal for the River Tree Academy project. River Tree Academy is a River Tree Academy is a Christian boarding school whose main mission is to educate under-resourced students of Como to to live life well by following Jesus and striving academically. The main area of focus is on four concepts, to learn well, to love well, to work well, and to live well. Therefore, we believe all the activities and the related facilities on this campus can be categorized into two groups, the ones which are directly associated with the physical world and the ones which are directly associated with the spiritual world. And we have prepared a proposal based on this categorization. Now I want to ask Alyssa, our architect, to explain the design. Thank you, Radia. I'm Alyssa. I am the environmental design student on this project, and I'm from America. Taking a look at our site analysis, you can see considerations that uh, influence our design considerably. The floodplain and the county easement that run through our site limited the placement of where we could put our buildings. We considered the solar angles as well as the existing vegetation for each of our buildings so that the vegetation and trees would not be disturbed in the building. Um, note also the views of the iconic tree and of the highest point on the site that we wanted to preserve. Next, we divided our site into the spiritual axis and the world axis. The world axis being defined by the existing rows and representing the place, the, the outside world that the students of Como are coming from, and ultimately what they're going to be influencing when they graduate from River Tree Academy. The spiritual axis is defined by the view and is set apart, dividing the site into the public side of the north and the private in the south. Next, we further divided our site into the zones based on the programmatic needs. The school and the barn with the market are located in close association to each other, as well as to the farm. The prayer space is set apart and is quiet for the students um, in order that they can have a place to meet with the Lord and to be um, set apart from their daily life. And down south, connected but set apart as well from the school and the barn, and the busyness is the private space, the residential and recreation for the students to have down place. Here's a more specific look at our site. You can see the existing clubhouse, which is renovated to be a welcome and administration center, as well as the school and the barn create this uh, barnyard and schoolyard in the north. And in the south, we have three parts of the residential. We have the girls' part, um, with the staff in the center, and the boys' part in the south. Here's a look at the barn. This was taken from traditional motifs, but is a modern function. And so it's a transitional style that is um, in order to inspire um, people that come and the students themselves. And um, this is in close association with the farm and connected to it as the, as the farmer's market. So people can enjoy this as well and be welcome to come and enjoy this space and relax and have downtime and there's, can experience this um, strong idea of this farm to table. Next we see the school, which also helps to serve um, in concealing the existing clubhouse and downplaying that. Considerations for the placement was phasing and getting light into each of the classrooms. And the more artistic wing was placed to the east, um, close to the garden and to the, to the farm, but they'd have excellent views. Now we traverse down from school. The kids are on their way home, and they can look and see this chapel. So the barn is the icon of the site, but this is the crown jewel. And it's taken from three motifs, um, seven-sided heptagon, which is seven representing holiness and wholeness. Then the gabled roof, which is a symbol of home, and the crown, which is representative of Christ, and will serve as a visual reminder that this, as the students traverse back and forth from school to home, that they are royal in Christ and that they can live missionally as they go um, about their day. <laughs> now we'll take a quick look at our residential buildings. Though they were designed for building efficiency and um, low energy consumption and cost, that was not a sacrifice of it feeling like home. Each of the cabins have a central fireplace, which is a great gathering place for Bible study and for family time. Now I'm going to turn it over to June, and she's going to talk some about the project schedule, so you can see how these buildings will be accomplished. Hello everyone, my name is Meng Yan Xiao, I'm from China, I'm the construction schedule of the River Tree Academy project. As we can see here, the River Tree Academy project will be carried out in seven years and one month. It starts on August 1st in 2015, will be finished in August 2022. Welcome to our video, we are Team 6. The River Tree Academy project is located in Fort Worth area in Texas. We developed this project 
break it into three phases, and in between of each phase, there is 200 days gap for fundraising. This is project phase one. It has school building phase one and the barn being built. At the same time, there are two residential houses will be delivered for four boys and four four girls. With the development of school, we will build the school building phase two. This is the cost as indicated here. In addition, we will deliver 12 houses for students and it includes four houses for staff to leave. This is project phase three. It includes school building phase three and the marketplace. As we can see here, they are all attached with our existing building. At the same time, we will deliver 10 additional houses to meet the needs of more students. The chapel will be delivered lastly, and the whole project finishes on August 2022. The construction system is consistent of the slab on grade as a substructure system for the old buildings due to the soil analysis of the region. And we put tension and slab on grade for all for the buildings with higher load capacity and a smaller footprint like barn and chapel. On the other hand, timber structure is considered as the superstructure system since it is the most common system to design and construct and it is widely available in the market. And timber structure is consisted of a stock wood frame wall to bear the loads and roof, roof trusses to cover the long expanses of the barn and chapel. Two residential apartments are combined constructed together as one unit which leads to lower construction costs. And finally, the construction sequence for instance for chapel is as follows. Slab on grade, column system, roof trusses, exterior wall panels, and roof decking, interior walls, and floor deck, and finishes. By the way, my name is Sima, and I'm from Iran, Tehran. Okay, uh, this is Mohammad Farzad from Iran, construction management student. Okay, let's talk about numbers. Uh, as you saw in the video, we calculated the cost for each building, and here is the total cost for each phase, which provides a good cash flow for the total duration of the project. The sum of these numbers will be the total cost of construction, which is $13,215,000. Why there is a total about the total cost of construction? There are other costs associated with this project, including site improvements and soft costs such as engineering and, and architect, and also overheads and contingencies. The projected total cost of development will be $22.5 million. The next stage in the life cycle of this project is activation, which basically means to bring all these buildings into life. Due to its educational and religious, um, religious nature, this project will withdraw a significant amount of attention from the public. And our main idea is to emphasize on this element and through, through social media and public visitation. The next stage is facilities management and operation of these buildings. Uh, there, you can find the details and the numbers in the books we provided. Uh, I just need to mention that the total annual cost of operation for the campus after its full activation in 2023, one year after its full activation, will be $1.8 million. Now I'm going to go through the uh, elements of value created in this project. The first one are social cultural values. As I said, public visitation and public involvement are the main area of our focus. There, are, there is a public access on the east side of the site, and three of the buildings are open to the public, namely the market, the chapel, and the bar. As for economic values, since this is a not-for-profit project, the traditional economic financial analyses and financial bottom lines does not account for this project. However, we believe, we believe the long-term impact of this campus on the uh, growth of the, of the Como community and the number of jobs, the significant number of jobs created uh, during the construction and after its full activation is the main element of economic value. Next one are environmental values. As mentioned before, houses are designed to be net zero. Alternative sources of energy such as photovoltaic cells have been considered. And as for water management, low water use fixtures have been, have been considered during the design. Uh, also, we have followed the checklist during the design.
design phase, and we've designed all the buildings as if they can be uh, LEED certified. The next element of value sen sensory, there are two iconic buildings in the site, which are the chapel and the barn, and they've been located on a very critical location <coughs> next to existing water, water features, which emphasize their uh, symbolic values. This was the end of our part uh, at Texas A&M University. You are at the start of the River Tree Academy project, uh, which would be a place for all these students to thrive and impact Como and the world. Um, I want to thank you all for being here.